Hello, my name is Fernando Rentas. In this small video tutorial, I want to show you how to avoid the splotchiness uh, generated by the SGRI. Um, I want to start showing showing you my scene. This is a just a very simple scene, just a plane and two racers. Those racers was modeled by uh, Juan Santucano using this plane, and I'm using for this uh, demonstration. Um, I don't have any other light source in my scene, it's just a uh, uh, skylight on my background. Um, my default are basically the default uh, options, but I'm using a uh, Tremines in Monte Carlo for my second driving engine. And my Iridium maps are minus 4 in my minimum rate and minus uh, 1 in my maximum rate. Uh, the first thing that I want to, to do is um, call my HGRI. I'm gonna use the Aversi Living Day uh, HGRI for my background. So select bitmap. Um, in my uh, UVW, select environment. The Aversi HGRI are uh, middle ball, so I'm going to select the middle ball here. Uh, well, the one that, I'm, that I will use is middle ball, so I select middle ball. Um, in the bitmap, I'm going to select the the HRI. So it's a versus living day. Select open. In my preview, you can see the flat uh, HRI in my preview. Select apply. And I will use the same uh, HRI in my GI. Select a uh, bitmap. Same setting, environment. Mirror ball. And select the same bitmap. As you can see here, my uh, HRI have a lot of detail. You can see very well everything in my in the in the in the HRI. So I'm going to show you the original HRI. It's this one. So uh, the, the HRI is a special type of image that contains light information. So, for example, in this HRI, the light is coming from the this the windows from the door and also this uh, light in the ceiling but I have also a bunch of detail here that before you have to read in order to uh, generate the illumination so I want to create I want to make a render uh, in order to see what what we get click render after the render start I'm gonna pause the video in order to uh, save time so I'm gonna pause the video this is the final render as you can see in my render um, I have a lot of a lot of splotchiness here in the floor especially in the shadows area and also I have splotchiness here in my model those black steam are very annoying in the, in the render also if I enable the color correction and I reduce the the light you can see how many splotchiness I have that's basically is because my HRI the HRI that I'm using for the for my GI for to generate the illumination um, is very detailed so those detail here those information here produce different type of light and and before you have to read every single detail in my GRI in order to calculate the GI. In order to avoid those uh, um, splotchiness, I want to reduce the. I want to use two different GRI. Well, I will use the same GRI, but for the GI, I don't need that kind of detail. So I don't need this kind of detail. So I will reduce the the details in order to uh, get better result in my GI. For now, I want to select filter in Photoshop, so the blur, and then Gaussian blur. Um, this is the kind of GRI that I want. I want the area that produces light, but I don't want all the other details in my SGRI. So I'm very happy with this kind of SGRI for my uh, GI. Uh, another very useful uh, thing is to reduce the, the size of the HRI 
this FCRI is not very big, but usually I use uh, 512 for my GI and a big size for my pack run. From, but for my GI, usually use 512. Then I'll select and save the, the FCRI. So I want to increase, but to change the name. Save, then go back to Rhino, and in my GI Skylight, I want to replace the high detail HDRI, so I want to, re to replace this HDRI for the new one, for the GI HDRI, for this one. That is smaller and blurry. Okay. Then I want to make a. My render. I want that you remember this render. My render time is one minute two point four second, and also you can see that a lot of splotchiness there, especially when I reduce the, the color. 